Okay, so uh, question number four. There's the universal set. Here's A, B, and C. They're asking us to find A union C complement overlap B complement from these multiple choice options. Okay, so let's give it a try. So you know what we start with, the parentheses. So start with the parentheses. So we will go A union C complement. Oh, wait, wait, I didn't do that right, did I? A union C with the complement on the outside. What does that mean? You know what that means, right? It's the opposite. That complement, they can do it by a bar, right? Or a prime mark or a C. It means the opposite of A union C, doesn't it? So how are we gonna find that? Well, we gotta start, so first, let's first find A union C. And then second, take the opposite. So that's, that's how we need to begin. So let's first find A union C. So that means all elements in A, or I should say unite, unite all elements in A or C. Right, unite all elements in A or C. Let's take all of A and all of C, unite them. So that's going to be one, three, five, seven. I got all of A there. And then throw onto it C. Already got the three. And then four, six, seven. Already got the seven, nine. So there is the union of A and C. But next, I'm supposed to take the opposite of that. How am I going to take the opposite of that? Any ideas? How are we going to do the opposite there? Two, eight, and ten. Yeah. Yeah, just, just find out what's missing, huh? Yeah, you can just count count down from one. One to ten is the whole universe, right? To use the universe, that's the only numbers we're even considering as possibilities. That's our whole universe on this question. Yeah, just count one to ten. So one, already got it. Two, there we go. Three, already got it. Four, already got it. Five, got it. Six, got it. Seven, got it. Eight is missing. Nine, got it. Ten is missing. So two, eight, and 10 are the ones missing. Two, eight, and 10. So that's the opposite. All right, so we've done the first part of the question, the hardest part for sure. So now let's go on to finish the problem. So now we want A union C complement, back to the original question here, overlap, with B complement. So we've got A union C complement, that's right here, right? We found A union C and then we took the opposite. So that's our two, eight, and 10. Overlap, now we need B complement and you know what that means, that's the opposite of B, opposite of B. So here's B. So the opposite of that, B is one, two, three, four. The opposite is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? That's the opposite of B. Because the universe is one through ten. So if B is one through four, the opposite is five through ten. So now here in the end, we're supposed to take this overlap that. So this is the overlap all elements in common. It's the overlap. It's all elements in common 
into both sets. So what elements are in common to both sets? Let's see, two, no, not two. Eight, yep, they both have eight. 10, yep, they both have 10. So eight and 10, yep, there it is, eight and 10. That's the elements in common to both sets, overlap, right? You turned over right here. That meant overlap. All right, so you see how we did that? Again, we started with the parentheses, which is the A union C complement, which meant find A union C, unite everything in A and C, did that, and then take the opposite because it's A union C complement. So that was two, eight, and 10, brought that down over here, A union C complement. And then we needed B complement, so we took B and took the opposite. And then finally we had to overlap what was in the first set and the second set, which was just eight and 10. 